of the tongue tip and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how a siphon works as you know a siphon is handy to us plumbers because if you come across a cylinder that hasn't got a drain off of it and it's full of water you've got to get the water out somehow <clears throat> and that's what we're using to do is siphon it out now, I know this is only a bucket for demonstration purposes but it will show you how it works and to siphon out you need a hose pipe and the hose pipe the base of the hose pipe has got to be below uh, the level of the water that you want coming out through. It's a cylinder, it's very likely to be a dalai, so it must be lower than the cylinder. In this case, anywhere below there, I'll do it because it's lower than the level of the water. And all I've got to do, I'm going to suck on this hose pipe and fill that bit there full of water. Once I've got that bit full of water, the rest will just come on its own. I'll try and demonstrate that now. This clip here is just keeping things in place, or it's supposed to be, anyway. because if that comes comes high in the water, then it'll stop. Right, so here we go. I've got another bucket here, you probably can't see it, it's below the level. Well, that's draining now. I hope you can see that falling down. You have to take it, you have to take all that water that's going into the floor. It's supposed to be going into that bucket. Look. You know, the best laid plans of man and beast. Stop there. So that will empty that bowl now. See, it's stopped there. But if that was a cylinder, it would take all the cylinder as long as I've got that hose pipe lower than the level I want it to. Right, 